Hello and welcome back to Master of Orion, our co-op series that we like to call Impossible Bromance. I'm Mal and I'm once again joined by the illustrious El Capitan Sabouts. Hello, my friend. Hello, Magnificent Mal. <laughs> <laughs> it never gets old. Uh, no, not for us, no. Uh, look at okay, these, so look at these uh, Cylon here. What do you think? I, mean, I know, right? It's kind of cool because I, I, the way if you zoom out and look at it, I punched a hole right through the middle of their empire. They must be very upset. I would, I would think so. I actually think that. Yeah, where are you going? Where are you? You've got Wolf. You've got the whole system. I do, yeah. And I think taking Wolf really like screwed them because they have to move through Wolf to be able to save any of their other systems. So. Yeah, because they don't have Stargate tech. Oh. oh. <laughs> Those poor souls. Uh, poor souls. I bet they wish every night that they had Stargate mm -hmm. tech. I bet you they wish they had the Stargate deck. Don't get me wrong, the Cylons are smart, but I guess they're just not smarter than us. I have to say, taking one planet from them and then uh, building a Stargate there, man, you want to talk about, like, tasty. That was, that was pretty fun, I have to say. Oh, yeah. I have to say. Uh, let's see. I got more cruisers coming. I've got like this main system that's a super production system, and I'm just able to pump out cruisers there like it's nothing. Like they're going out of style. Yeah, it's pretty nice actually. And then this is a pretty good system too, actually. This system is gonna take a while to bounce back. I had like a ton of systems finish production this one turn. So that's sort of what I'm doing now. Okay, you wait Copy here that. and good. I'm ready for the next turn. All right. Well, oh, actually, I'm real quick. Debating if I want to wait for more backup or if I want to go for the next. I think I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna roll their next. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna attack the next planet. I'm going to go after Borea Prime. I like that when you click next turn, it still lets you kind of mess with stuff. Mm -hmm. That's actually yeah, that's a really cool. good feature. Now, if they just let us have tactical combat, I'd be super happy. No, you don't deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, because they didn't give it to us. Okay, so I'm up against a Starbase, a Missile Base, and two Destroyers. Good luck. I lost two cruisers. That's not too bad. Oh, nice. But you got them, right? You got uh, everything destroyed? Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. I got it. Now, I just... Whether or not I can take the planet or not is the question. Let's see. Eight against nine. Twelve against nine. That should be enough. And yet, it wasn't. Have to get it next turn then. I'm gonna continue upgrading my fleet. Cost me a lot, but it's worth it. What kind of research are you working on right now? Uh I am working on robotics. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember I'm gonna go robotics and then as the pickable oh, choice, right. I'm gonna do automated repair unit. And then I'm going to go for Optronics, and I'm going to pick up Optronic Computer for the plus 75 oh, weapon accuracy. Bonus. That's going to be really powerful. I'm actually going f yeah. for Neutronium Armor right now, so we're going to be able to share that too. We're like, we're really doing well with this research, the way that we're kind of breaking it up, and you know, we're going for different things. And let's us leapfrog. Yeah, it makes it well. It helps. Frankly, what it does is it helps us keep up with the AI. It's all it does. It doesn't let us pass them. It just lets us keep up with them. Just let, yeah, yeah. It lets us tread water. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we're we're, and even then, when you really look at the path to victory, I mean, we are just barely keeping up for the most part, like um, score wise. We're like right behind them. Got Boria Prime. Okay, Alien Management Center. Fairbase. Nice. 
Just fight something? Yeah, I just destroyed a little surveillance thing. They had sitting on the outskirts. What are they thinking, right? <laughs> Obviously not much. So silly. So silly. Kind of curious what kind of technology the Trillarians have. Wow, they have a lot. Mm-hmm. Yes, they most certainly do. They have a lot of technology. They do not have reinforced hull, though. I've noticed the humans don't have reinforced hull either. Yeah, it's because they can't get anybody to give it to them. That makes a big difference. We're, we got to keep that in our pocket. And use that to our advantage. That's funny. I was trying to get a non-aggression pack with them, and that's exactly what they asked for. Reinforced hull. Of course. Like, yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's not happening. That's what they want. Won't be doing that. That is exactly what they want. You know who else has a decent amount of stuff? Is the, well, actually, the Illyrians are not really that far ahead of us. They don't they don't have that big of an edge on us tech-wise. That's kind of surprising. Um, the Illyrians? Yeah, they don't. They have like five or six things that we don't have, and none of them oh, are high-level techs. Good, yeah, so the Trillarians that are... Uh... Yeah. That are yeah, super squid, ahead and squid, squid, squid guys, scary, um, psionic ladies, not so scary. Yes. <laughs> What's going on here? Deals ending research treaties. I sent you one. Oh, you already got it. Look at that. You're on top of it. I'm on it, man. I am on it. Okay, let's see. Threatening fleet detected. Oh, it's telling me about the amoeba again. For the yeah, I like, keep getting threatening fleet for Cylon troop transports that are like a whole system away. Oh no. Not the troop transports. Not the, not the Cylon troop transports. How oh, will I ever defeat them? Okay, lots of production. That's what happens. You get a lot of planets. You end up with lots of production production to queue up as planets and I've got they're like super they're all super heavy production planets as is so they finish things very quickly okay I'm gonna go ahead and start putting star bases on these wolf systems once I got star bases and missile bases up I'll feel a lot better about leaving them and I can go attack Urania well, I've got Borea Prime and Borea 5, and I just destroyed the star base on Borea 4, and I'm blockading it. Good. And now I just have to wait for more ships to be built. And that's a really good system for you to have, because there's a lot of good colonizable planets in that system. Yeah. Well, yeah, all five of them. All five of them actually have a good biome. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly. It's a it's a really good like system. The worst, the worst biome here is a level 2. And that planet is ultra rich with gold. So it's like, oh, okay, no problem. I'll take that. Yep. Yeah, that Borea 5 is, or Borea, the five, the fact that there's five planets there is a big deal. Because once we get um, interplanetary administration, oh. that's just, this system is going to be like my, it's going to be my version of your, what is it, Anak or whatever? The yeah, Anak An An or Anach or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah. that system's ridiculous. That system's going to be insane with planetary administration. Like, it's almost going to be so good it's a joke. My prediction, you'll be building, once it's completely built up and you've got interplanetary administration, you'll be building battleships there in under 10 turns. Probably like 7, actually. 7 or 8. Oh. Just cranking them out. That's going to be awesome. And we'll need it. Yeah. Because once it gets really ugly with these other people, we're going to need we're gonna need that. That's going to be such a big deal, too. Well, that's why I need to go for more pollution tech research, too. So once I get Neutronium armor, I'm going to jump all the way back to Xenobiotics. Um, especially yeah, because I do want to get... Call. Yeah, I want to get terraforming. Well, I just finished another cruiser. Have you done anything with spies yet? I haven't even touched spies. Uh, other than... Um, actually, you just reminded me to get another one. Uh, I have... 
I have spies. I've had them for a long time. Yeah. Um, but they're all on. I've got them all on counter, counter espionage. espionage. Okay. I'm gonna set up a planet to do spying from. Wanna... Well, it's all global. Yeah, but if you get if you get like a center. leader, right? Uh, what do you mean? If you get like uh, a spy, like bonus, a spy leader? bonus leader, then they can only for a system that has spies in it. Or how's that work? Or, uh, or is it empire wide? I think all the spy bonus leaders are like time reduction on the missions or bonuses to security. I think I don't think any of them are system based. There might be some, um, there might be some security increase that's system, uh, but I think most of their stuff is empire wide. Okay. Okay. If it's a spying bonus. Yeah, I'm not even bothering to do offensive spying. Maybe to get some visibility on some systems later, but I don't know. Yeah. Largely, it seems to do nothing for a, a human player. Oh. The AI can get all kinds of stuff done with it. Exactly. I we've Even the last playthrough we did, I, I didn't have any success with it at all. Well, and I had success with it, but it didn't. It didn't. It didn't sway anything. So it was like, well, okay, that was a whole lot of effort for not much. For a whole really. lot of nothing. Pretty much, yeah. So I was like, whatevs. Okay, once these star bases are built, I'll look at uh, taking Urania. They've got lots of fleets outside my system, though, so I wanna, well, I wanna keep my fleet there stationed until after the fact. I love how I love. I know we've said it a bunch of times, but I love how fast we can reinforce with Stargates. Oh, it's beautiful. It's made it. It's made a huge difference in our ability to yep, wage war. Exactly. We've said it a hundred times, and we'll say it a hundred times more. Five, ten turns from now, I'm going to mention it again because it's going to come really in handy. Mm-hmm. Well, just bypassing the star lanes, you know, beyond the fact that it's fast, it's just the fact that you could just skip all that connected stuff it's awesome exactly it really helps Prime, you're working on a star base okay they moved their fleet away so I might go ahead and see if I can hit Urania real quick or at least destroy the military outpost there or if you can actually if you can if you can destroy any star bases that are there that would be we're chewing, up, we're chewing up their command points exactly so after Borea, are you gonna go for Gahana, Gahina next? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can. Sure. Probably might as well, that. right? That's your next system, really. Oh yeah. I mean, it's planets, right? So might as well take it. Yeah, and there's a asteroid. Oh, and Tarians just, I guess, went after the Tolarians again. I'm assuming. Did they? I didn't see where they spawned, but aren't they the point leader? They are. Let me check. They're not anymore, though. Okay. At least not for Conquest Victory. They're still the score leader. Somebody surpassed them. I can't see who it is because I... Shockingly, I haven't met everybody yet. Conquest Victory is the Alarians, surprisingly. Oh, okay. So that's who it is. Score Victory's Tolarians. Yeah. Actually, the Alarians are 300 of 400 Actually. progress on Antarian's Victory, which doesn't mean... I think even if they're 400 or 400, they still have to go into the pocket dimension and destroy their own world. And they don't have the tech to do that. Yet. They're not going to do that. They're not even... There's no way they're even close to doing that. I hope not. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, if they are, though, we may... Hmm. They may need to be our next target instead of the Talarians, then. Plus, they'd be easier for us to... They'd be easier for us to fight. Um, we could take their territory and essentially make ourselves stronger and then go after the Tolarians. Okay. You think that they're going to be the next target then? Well, there's 300 to 400 progress on that victory type and the Tolarians are zero of 400. Well, oh. well, we're still, um, I guess it really depends too on where, what we're looking like after this war with the, uh, Cylons. Yeah. I mean, at this point, there's nothing else we can do. I mean, we have to finish the war with the Cylons. It doesn't really matter what they're doing. 
Exactly. If they happen to get a victory for the Atarians, then okay. Lesson learned. Don't have that victory type enabled. <laughs> Fair enough. Honestly, didn't think it would be any issue. I think the only reason we included that was in case we wanted to go do the fight against the Interians. That's the only reason we included it. We didn't even think it was possible. Exactly, yeah. AI would focus on that. A treaty. Eight. Well, I just made a good deal with the fish guys. What'd you get? They traded me deep sea cooling or ECM jammer, and I was like, fine, you can have ECM right. jammer. We don't use missiles anyway. Yeah, not bad. So let me, uh, we don't even. I don't think that's tradable. We don't even remember. touch missiles, so. Actually, it is tradable. Let me send that to you. Deep sea cooling is pretty good. And that's for research, right? It is, yeah. It's on uh, like Terran and Ocean planets, if memory serves me correctly, which we both have quite a few of. I'm three turns away from Neutronium Armor. Oh, nice. I know, that's going to be huge. As if we weren't all ready to completely destroy the Cylons fast enough. One more cruiser before I engage. Actually. This last planet. I was gonna bomb them, but I'm like, what? You know, I don't want to. I want to lose the infrastructure. Ah, uh, yeah. I can wait them out. Back. I just finished six more troop transports. You finished six more? Huh? I'm waiting for star bases and wolf. You're waiting for them? Yeah, once I get star bases on both these planets and wolf, and I'm only about two turns. Well, I've actually got a star base on Wolf Prime. I'm waiting for one on Wolf 2. Once I got those, then I'll feel a lot more better about moving my fleet into Urania. I don't think they've got much of anything in there. They've got a large enough... They've got a lot of troops and stuff that they could land on my planets. They've got a large enough fleet. They could do some okay, damage. Okay, military power. Alarians, Trillarians, and then Darlock. So you're third, buddy. Whoa! Total military strength. That's right. You're a baller. Balling. Balling on a budget. That's right. That's right. Making it happen. Nice. We're, we're looking, making it happen. We're looking good then. Well, the biggest thing is that we're really pushing for... Uh, we're playing like super competitive <laughs> well, yeah, with the well, AI. Yeah. Don't want to lose. No. Don't want to lose. No. Losing is embarrassing. Why would we want to do that? We're better than that. I got four turns. Oh, you know the other thing that robotics unlocks? It's not tradable, but the base tech on that on that tier is uh, orbital batteries. 
Which Aww. is a nice defensive structure. That's a really good defensive structure. Yeah. That's one of the things about the, the 5X Ultimate Balance mod that, you know, when Spud, one of the decisions he made, which I really like, I'm glad that he did it, was that he buffed up all of the planetary defenses because they were pointless. Like in vanilla, it was like, why even build them? They don't, they don't ever save you from anything. Exactly. And it's super frustrating because you never really felt like you got your worth out of them. No, yeah, I agree. Just like, what? Heal. Oh, yes. All right. I'm going to go ahead and give you... Neutronium armor. What? Depending on how much that upgrade is, I think I'll at least upgrade my cruisers before fighting anymore then. All right, there you go. That's going to make a difference. That's going to make Thank a big you, difference. Deep sea cooling. Research plus three. That's a really good one. Edit. Yeah, so Neutro okay, so Tritanium Armor, which is what we had, was 10 resilience rating, hull armor multiplier 1.5, missile armor multiplier 1.2, ground combat rating increase of 10%. Tritanium Armor is 15 resilience rating, it's double hull armor multiplier, it's 1.4 on missile armor and plus 15% to ground combat. It's a pretty significant upgrade. That's very significant. Especially since we both have um, heavy armor, which is resilience multiplier times two. So our ships are really tough. That's a big thing too. Like firepower wise, we're a little lacking, but yeah, defense we wise, we're super yeah, powerful. Yeah, our ships are tough as all, our, our ships are like tough as all get out. Yeah, and if we make a and I might go for it. The graviton cannon that mm -hmm. that would put the graviton, us in. the graviton cannon's tasty, actually. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go for it too because I'm not that far off. I just need tacky on physics, which gives us mass driver modifications, anyways. But right now I'm going for private funding. Get that crust prospecting. Um, I want the crust. No, I'm sorry. I'm going for xenobiotics. That's right, because I want the. I got the deep sea cooling now, so maybe soil enrichment facility. That might be pretty important for some of the planets I have. Do you ever go back and get rid of some of these upgrades that you don't need? Well, like I was mentioning to you, like I was mentioning to you last time, one of the one of the things I wish this had feature wise was like the first endless space. Where you could from the colony screen, you could, there was actually an option option to remove all obsolete stuff from your colonies. Yeah, because I mean, like if I terraform a planet, then I don't necessarily need a soil enrichment facility on it, but I'm still paying maintenance on it. You know, I feel like you mean if, once you've got it, once you mean once you got your pop capped. Yeah, exactly. Or I got the yeah, planet you terraformed. Manually, you know, you, you can go through manually and remove them, but it's time consuming. Yeah, especially though, man, like micromanaging them to know what planets have that on it and. What planets yeah. don't, and yeah. Yeah. It's, it is a little frustrating. Oh, I got two planets with gold on them. I'm actually, I actually want to get the advanced before I colonize any more planets because I still got a bunch of empty planets in my empire that need to be colonized. I want to go for the advanced colony ship. So. Oh, yeah. The advanced colony ship is nice because you get automated factory. Uh, hydroponic farm, and I think biospheres. I think yeah, you get all like right off as soon as you touch down. Yeah, yeah, right out the gate. That's a huge. That's that's it's huge. Very, it's very sexy. So it's very sexy. Okay. Do I have enough? Oh, I've got enough marines to take you now. Uh huh. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, I think I feel confident enough now. I've got a star base up. 
Wow. I didn't take them. Wow. Holy moly. I just deployed a ton of troops and didn't take them. I might actually have to bomb that planet some and soften it up. Yeah. Let the bombs drop. Don't be shy. Yeah. I didn't think I was going to have to do that. Do oh, by the way, it's that time no. again. No. It is. It is. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Let's see what pops up the next turn. Here. At least one of us noticed. I just happened to glance over. Oh man, I got a commander that's like really good. Empire research plus ten percent on a commander. Ah, uh, but that's then nice. she, but then she's got missile attack plus ten percent. I would get her just for the research thing, and I would put her on like a destroyer or something and just sit her in orbit around one of your planets that is like in the center part of your empire. Like I'd never put her in combat and risk killing her getting her killed. I would just use her like a colony person that just hovers over the planet. Yeah, I like the way you think. Once in a while. Every once in a while. <laughs> All right. Well, folks, hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, peace about. I'm Mal, and we'll see you later. Thank you.